myself, but I uh, want to take the time to do a quick demo against a Chinese Zach Wild replica flying V. This is first versus an Epiphone flying V. It's actually a Gothic that uh, some dude painted up on eBay. Uh, thought it was kind of cool. I got this thing for two hundred and forty dollars, I believe, shipped. Two forty shipped. It's an Epiphone flying V off eBay. I've done nothing to it other than adjust the uh, action a little bit, and then the uh, the Chinese flying V it was about three hundred ish shipped with no case or anything. Um, I had to get a an Ibanez Floyd Rose installed in it because. I'm telling you guys, it literally wouldn't stay in tune for 12 seconds. <laughs> 12 seconds tops. Uh, so, had that put in, and it does better. It still doesn't stay in tune that well. You'll probably hear it in the video. Um, it started during a take uh, pretty much perfectly in tune. And uh, as you might hear, it gets a little out. But So I did a take of uh, Man in a Box by Alice in Chains. Uh, Thought it'd be a good demo to do that one. Hopefully you guys can hear it. I only did a dirty. I used the uh, Black Star HT60, which I'll show you in a little bit. But I only did dirty. But uh, you should be able to hear the difference. I can from what I've played back so far. Um, Black Star HT60 on channel two, and um, I'll show you the settings that I use in a little bit. But there should be a link right here or below or somewhere right about now uh, to Jerry Cantrell doing Man in a Box with just his parts. So I tried to get it as close to that as I could. I played it a little bit faster than there. Uh, so you guys didn't have to wait around too long watching this video. But anyways, we have the Zach Wild Replica V. And by the way, notice the pickup placement is not all the way back by the bridge like it's supposed to be. So that's part of the tone difference itself. These are definitely fake EMGs. Um, this, I guess, has the stock Gothic stuff in it. I couldn't tell you. But... Uh, Anyways, so hope you enjoyed this little shootout. Um, please leave your feedback. I just wanted to give you guys an idea of if you could go get an Epiphone for cheaper versus getting one of these Chinese replicas. And I must say this Epiphone with a satin neck uh, plays much better. This is just my opinion. Uh, go by the sound on whatever you want. But for the price, this was a way better deal than this thing, dude. I, I could never gig this unless I changed uh, everything. I'd have to move that pickup for one, change the tuners, I, I don't know. But anyways, I just want to do this demo for everybody out there that's uh, interested in what these things sound like, the difference. Um, Sound-wise, I'll let you be the judge. I'm not going to try to sway you there. But just wanted to give you some uh, playability differences between the two. So thanks again. Hope you guys enjoy. Go Orioles. That's right. Um, and please leave feedback. And if you notice these guitars over here, this is a... Here's six of the many that I have, but um, this one in the middle here is real. It's a Maryland Blue Crab Blue Paul Reed Smith Custom 24. Uh, in a couple weeks here, me and the, uh, the other guys from the previous video, Phil and uh, Dan the man, will be back. We're going to demo the 24 versus a Chinese uh, Custom 24 copy versus a Dean double cut. Um, I think that's a, oh, and an SE PRS Custom 24. And they, this time, they all have the same pickups, except for the, uh, the American ones not getting uh, touched, harmed, or damaged during the filming of these. So anyways, let me know if you guys like this style better. It's going to be cut to cut. I did uh, one take each, like I said. Let me know if you like this style better than the previous Chinese uh, comparison where we just do a lick next guitar. This way I have it kind of one and one and one and one, so forth. Anyways. Thanks, guys, for hanging out with Dick Farrell again today, and uh, keep rocking. Give us your feedback. Take care. All right, everybody, here is the uh, Black Star that I'm using, the HT60, uh, using Channel 2, and uh, not doing anything crazy. I just got kind of a little scoopy sound like Cantro has with a little bit more trouble than normal because um, if you have that link I sent you to, it's as close as I could get it to. There, there's a little bit closer here and there, but anyways, using an SM57 uh, to do the recording directly into a Tascam 1800. 
which is powered by my Acer quad core laptop. So here's the setup on how the recording done. No effects, no reverb, none of that was used. Uh, just the amp itself on channel two. Thank you. 